namin Diyos. Maraming salamat po sa buhay at lakas na aming tagnay. Sa liwanag ng kaisipan at sa pagkakataon, maipagpatuloy ang pag-aaral ng mga kabataan. Gabay mo po ang bawat isa sa amin. Ano man ang bahagi na nagdagampanan, naway maging maayos at matagumpay ang pagtuturo at pag-aaral na aming gagawin sa araw na ito. Patawarin mo po kami sa aming mga pagkulang at pagkakasala. At sa aming paggawa, ikaw po ang aming makasala. Amen. And good morning, learners! Welcome to another week of learning here at Valenzuela Live Earth and Light Sciences. So for this morning, you are about to enjoy several fun enrichment activities regarding the last topic for this quarter, which is the hydrometeorological hazards. Before we go any further, though, let us have a very short recap on the important keynotes that we had with our last discussion last week. So first and foremost, the hydrometeorology, which is a branch of meteorology and hydrology which focuses on the transfer of water and energy between the land and the land surface and the lower atmosphere. Next, we have the hazards. And as you know, hazards, these are the um, phenomena and processes brought about by uh, meteorological or hydrometeorological processes which could cause loss of life, environmental damages, um, economic disruption, etc. And also, coastal processes. So these are unavoidable occurrences caused by nature and could be also amplified by human activities or human actions. So this includes submersion, coastal erosion, and salt water intrusion. So once again, these are naturally occurring processes that could be aggravated with human actions. And lastly, we have coastal protections. So these are the ways and strategies when it comes to protecting our coast. For example, um, building seawalls or bulkheads, um, sandbags, groins and jetties, so on and so forth. Now, are you ready for our first activity? All right. So for our first activity, it is called decode. So what you're going to do is you have to say the word out loud several times and then um, try to form a functional word based on how it sounds. So for example, psych alone, what do you think the word could be formed there? Okay, so I'm going to give you 30, I mean 10 seconds only to think about the answers. Three, two, one. All right. So let's have the first one. Sight alone. Sounds like. All right. That is cyclone. Okay. Next, typhoon. Typhoon. What do you think that is the word that is sig uh, similar with the sound of typhoon? If you answer typhoon, you got it correctly. Next. Tinder store orbs. Tinder store orbs. Sounds like, there you go, thunder storms. What about this set of words? So for this set of words, I'll be giving you another 10 seconds to think about the answer. All right, time's up. So, first one, L 
Niño. A very obvious answer. You must get it correctly. It is El Niño. Next, we have La Niña. You must have answered La Niña. And lastly, let's have Store Erm Sir Urge. Store Erm Sir Urge. That word must be very good. Storm Search. Okay, so let's have another one. Okay, so this time this is a crossword puzzle. So we are going to answer first or fill in first the across path and then afterwards the downward section. Okay, so I'm going to give you 30 seconds to think about the answers. And then for your participation, you may type in your answers in the comment section below. You've got 15 seconds, 10 seconds, all right, there you go, time's up. So let's have the across section. So number two, rising of the sea due to storm. What? is being described by that so that is a storm surge next too much rainfall that is a number four too much rainfall so we call that or we denote that with la nina next tropical cyclone for number six tropical cyclone that is Typhoon. And then downward this time. So let's have thunder. Thunder and lightning. Very good. Then large scale air mass. That is referred to as what? All right. The answer is cyclone. And overflow of water number five. Overflow of water is referred to as flash floods. All right. And lastly, it is being described or associated with drought. What is that? Well, definitely that is El Nino. You're doing a good job. Next, we have more activities. And this is decoding version 2. Now, what you're going to do is you just have to identify the words that help in coastal protection. So how are you going to do that? So decode by looking for the letter at which the vertical and horizontal path intersect. Okay, to make that clear, for example, um, the first um, number is 14. So number 1 and then number 4. They intersect at letter V. Okay, so your first letter is V. Another example, the next number is 51. So 5 and then 1, they intersected at letter E. Okay, so there I have given you two letters. So work with the other letters and the rest of the given. So I'm going to give you again 30 seconds to... Answer. Okay, 15 seconds. Okay, hey, time's up. All right, so for the first one, I have given you two letters already. So the answer there, I hope you got it right, that is vegetation. For the next given, if you answered sandbags, well, you got it correctly. Next given, 
So the answer there is C walls. The next one, you're doing a good job if you got this right, it's break waters. And then for the last one, that is jetties. All right, let's have another activity. Well, I hope you guys are enjoying this activity. So let's have the next one. So it's called, what is it? All right, so I will be giving you um, descriptions and then you're going to identify what is being described per given. So the first one is large scale air mass that rotates around a strong center of low atmospheric pressure. You have five seconds to answer that. And just type in your answer in the comment box. So this one is, very good, that is cyclone. Okay, next one. It is a mature tropical cyclone that develops between 180 and 100 degree east in the northern hemisphere. What do you think is being described here? That is very good. Typhoon. Number three, it is an overflow of water that submerges land that is usually dry. The one that is being described here is. There you go. It's flood. Okay, now. Down to our last enrichment activity for this topic. So type in yes if the illustration shows ways on coastal protection. All right. So you have 30 seconds to think about the answer and key it in on the comment box. You've got 15 seconds left. All right, time's up. So for the first one, if you answered yes, you are correct because this is what we call sea walls and bulkheads. The second one, the answer there is also yes, and that is what we call the breakwaters. The third one, if you answered yes, you got it correctly, you are doing a good job because that is sandbags. Next, we have the red one. Okay, so if you answered yes, once again, you got it correctly, and this is what we call planting of uh, planting vegetation or having vegetation and then last one that is seaweed so definitely you should have answered yes because it is one method of protecting our coast because seaweeds can reduce the speed of the current that could promote coastal erosion now to sum up everything that you have learned regarding this topic, hydrometeorological hazards, so let's answer this assessment. So first question, which of the following is direct effect of sea level rise? Is it shoreline erosion and degradation? Amplified storm surges? Saltwater intrusion? Or all of the above? Okay, great job for those who have answered letter D. Next question. The periodic cooling of sea surface temperatures across the East Central Equatorial Pacific is what we call El Nino, La Nina, and so cycle or climate change. You are correct if you answered letter B, La Nina. 
For our next question, this weather phenomenon is characterized by an above average sea surface temperature that develops across the east central equatorial pacific what is it so is it el nino letter b la nina c and so cycle or d climate change very well the answer is letter a now for the last of for the fourth question rather which of the following is an example of coastal processes a waves break on a shore b coastal erosion c waves smash rocks and pebbles on the shore into each other or all of the above well of course the answer is letter d now, down to our last item. The following are marine processes, except for A, waves, B, currents, C, tides, or D, sea breeze. All right, so all are marine processes except for letter D, C, breeze. Well, congratulations, everyone. You really did well today. And I hope you guys learned a lot and enjoyed our session. So see you guys next time.